Hi there, I'm Charlie and welcome to day 12 of Vlogmas. Today I'll be sharing another Christmas tag. Once again, this tag was found here on YouTube and of course I will share that video and the creator's channel in the description below along with all of the questions. With that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Question one, what's your favorite Christmas dessert? There are a few different things that I could potentially call favorite Christmas desserts, but I think I'm gonna go with fruitcake with ice cream and custard. Growing up, we would often have Christmas pudding, but we would also have fruitcake. I've just never really enjoyed Christmas pudding. I don't really enjoy the flavor. I don't enjoy making it. It's just not really my thing, but fruitcake, absolutely. I love fruitcake. So I'm gonna say fruitcake and then in a separate bowl because I don't like things touching, ice cream and custard. Question two, favorite Christmas drink? I think for me, it's gonna be grape juice or blackcurrant juice. So growing up, my parents liked red wine, but obviously as a kid, I wasn't allowed to drink it. And so on special occasions, we would get grape juice or blackcurrant juice and get to drink it out of wine glasses. And that always made me feel like a grown up and I really liked it. And I still like grape juice to this day. I just don't have it very often. So let's go with that. Question three, do you like eggnog? I've never actually tried it, I don't think, but from the sound of it, I don't think I would like it. Even the name. Are there actually eggs in eggnog? Cause I can't eat concentrated egg. I have a food aversion. Either way, it looks icky. Question four, have you ever built a gingerbread house? No, I haven't, but I am so excited that I will get to do one soon, in a few days actually. And I am really excited and I can't wait because I have bought them before. I have had the kits, but I've just never actually gotten around to making them. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Question five, real or fake tree? I know I've said it before, but fake tree all the way. I have one, I've had them for most of my life. I prefer them. I'm probably never gonna go back to a real tree. Ever. Question six. Do you prefer giving or receiving gifts? This is such a hard question. I think gift giving might be one of my love languages. <laughs> I love giving people presents for any occasion, for no occasion, for any excuse. If I see something that I think someone will like, I want to buy it for them and make them a present because that's just who I am. And I've always been that way. But I also love getting presents, but it is a little bit more loaded. Receiving presents is more complicated because maybe someone will get you something that you don't like and then you feel guilty that someone's put effort or money or time into you and you're not appropriately appreciating it. And then that can get or maybe they get you something that you do like and you're really, really excited, but you don't want to seem like you're only happy about a material possession because it's not the point. I love presents. I love getting presents. I love knowing that someone cared about me and thought about me and put effort. But historically speaking, I have been more of a giver than a receiver when it comes to gifts. And sometimes that makes me sad because I want people to extend the same effort and energy to me as I do to them. Them, but I also don't want to be ungrateful or presumptuous because that's rude and it's a very complex problem for my head. It's, there's a lot of societal rituals that I don't fully understand, but I really love giving people things. Though sometimes I worry that I'm giving people things that they're not gonna like and I really worry that I've made a wrong choice. But generally speaking, they like the gifts, but I'm just always petrified that they're gonna hate it. Even if it's something that I know that they want because they've specifically asked for it, I'm still worried that they'll somehow hate it or that I'll wrap it really poorly and they'll get mad at me or something. But yeah, I love presents. I love getting them and I love giving them, but they also can be stressful. Question seven, what color theme is your Christmas tree? I'd say the overwhelming color theme of my Christmas tree is black, silver, and red, though that wasn't actually on purpose. It's just that over the years, those color decorations have somehow accumulated and the other colors have kind of fallen by the wayside, but I'm actually more of a rainbow tree person. I am a overly stuffed, overly full, shove the joy in every part of your life type of person. I like colors, we just didn't have that many this year. Question eight, what's the worst gift you've ever received? This is a very loaded question. Anytime that I've received a gift that I would consider a bad gift, there's always been context behind it. And it's not that that gift is inherently a bad gift for everyone necessarily, but it wasn't right for me. I think I'm gonna have to go with a time that I was gifted a particular type of food that I couldn't eat and had specifically requested to not get because it was something that had already been gifted to me by this person in the past 
and I had explained to them at that point that while I was very grateful for the gesture that I couldn't eat that food and that I obviously wouldn't be able to use their gift and I didn't want them to be wasting their money again and then the next year they asked I told them and I gave them alternative suggestions and they intentionally bought me the thing that I couldn't eat and knew that I wouldn't like and then yelled at me for not eating it. Question nine. What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Everything. Everything, 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 everything. I love Christmas. I love the presents. I love the food. I love the decorations. I love the music. But I think the thing that I enjoy the most and I remember the most is the games and the conversations and the laughter and the fun with my friends and family that I get to spend the day with. Question 10. Favorite Christmas meal? I grew up in a huge family and Christmas was unsurprisingly a very big day. And the Christmas meal was no exception. We would generally have to have multiple dining tables set up because we couldn't fit everyone around one. And we would typically set up a buffet of all of the foods and everyone would line up and serve themselves. And it was just the easiest way of doing that. And in our Christmas meals, we would have a bunch of different roast meats and different vegetables and different sides. And you could just layer your plate with as many things as you wanted. And it was just really nice. I think my favorite things that I would always get on my plate were roast potatoes, peas, corn, if it was there and all of the meat. We would have lamb, we would have beef, we would have chicken or turkey maybe. We would absolutely have a pork, ham. Sometimes we even had fish. I would love to get the roast veggies and the roast meat. Oh, it was just so nice. And we'd all sit around the table and pull crackers and wear the hats and tell the jokes and eat the food and drink the drinks. And I just, I miss it. <laughs> Question 11, favorite Christmas craft. I don't know what my favorite Christmas craft is because I love them all and I still have more to try. But I think one thing that turned out surprisingly well that I was really happy with was the Christmas cards. I really enjoyed making Christmas cards from scratch this year. Question 12, have you ever built a snowman? Okay, so putting aside for a second the fact that I'm in Australia and Christmas is in summer, let's just talk about snowmen in general. The answer is still no. No, I've never made a snowman. Snow doesn't fall and settle on the ground where I live. I have seen snow settle on the ground once in my adult life outside of a mountaintop. And that was the day I took my peace test for my license, which was interesting. I'd never dealt with that before. But generally, the only time we would get snow is on the mountain. I have absolutely gone up the mountain and like seen the snow. I've played with it a little but I've never actually made a snowman. I always intended to, there was just never really enough snow. Because when it was heavily snowing, the roads would get shut and we wouldn't be allowed to go up the mountain because it wasn't safe. So it just never really happened. Question 13. Have you ever visited the North Pole? No, I haven't. I'm pretty far away from that down here in little old Australia. I'm much closer to the South Pole, frankly, but no, no, I have not. Question 14. Would you ever go Christmas caroling? I know in the previous Christmas tag, I talked about my experiences caroling when I was little and I really enjoyed that. So I absolutely would go caroling again. Whether I'm ever in an opportunity that I can do roaming Christmas Christmas carols like with a group whether it's door-to-door -to -door or some other setup I just don't know if it's ever gonna come up but I think it could be really fun and I think I would absolutely enjoy it question 15 try to name all of Santa's reindeer so here's what happened when I did this in the last tag so I know the names of all the reindeer but sometimes when I speak I slur or my words run together or I stutter and things like that can affect what you hear obviously and I was trying to be efficient while I was filming and because I know all of their names I just said them all, boom, move on. But I didn't say them right and I didn't notice till I was editing. So I couldn't fix it because they just all slurred together and came out as a weird jumble of words that weren't even names. So I'm going to go slowly this time and try and regain some of my dignity. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donna, Blitzen, Rudolph. Yay! Yay! I'll have to check in the editing whether I actually said that correctly, but I put in the effort and I tried and I do know their names. In fact, I even researched it between videos to make sure that the names I said in my head but not out of my mouth were the correct names and they were. Though historically they have evolved over time, which was really interesting to read about. Question 16. Who is your favorite reindeer? Growing up, I would have absolutely said Rudolph, hands down, but I recently re-watched the Santa Claus trilogy so I'm gonna go with Comet. Question 17. Name a Christmas song you like. 
I'm gonna go with Hot Hot Christmas by Pangea. It's a Melbourne rock duo from like a decade ago. I'll link the video. It's great. Question 18. Favorite Christmas movie. I have released an entire video on just that topic. I will link it below. Go watch it. But for this, instead of telling you my favorite, I'm gonna tell you which one I watched most recently, which was the 2022 film Catering Christmas. Question 19. Favorite Christmas scent. And that has got to be the smell of baking Christmas treats. I don't really care which ones, but Christmas baking is the best smell in the world. Question 20. Have you ever peeked at a Christmas gift? Yes. When I was little, yes. As a child, absolutely. As an adult, I don't let myself because it ruins the surprise and then I get sad. And there we have it. That was the complete Christmas tag. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever peeked at a gift and what your favorite Christmas meal is. Better yet, why don't you answer all of the questions in the description and make your own tag video. I'd love to see it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more Vlogmas coming this month. I hope you're having an amazing day and I can't wait to see you all soon. Bye!